So, you want to main Fallot, the medical grandma of 2042, but you're afraid because you think she might be too weak in combat. Well, let me correct you on that. She is an absolute unit. This medic is unlike any other specialist, and so in today's video, I'm going to go in-depth on why you want to play Phallic and what are the best strategies to use with her. And note, most of these are suggestions and shouldn't be taken at face value. I know, I'm running to A1. Let's do it. Now you will of course know Phallic for her syringe pistol, and yes, this is a major part of her kit. But she can also self-heal, pick up people at a faster pace than any other specialist, and revive people to full health. Her syringe has a 6 dart capacity, and it regenerates much like Sundance's grenades so you don't have to worry about using them all. Although she can't move around the maps as quickly as, say, McKay or Sundance, Fallot can help keep bodies on site by using her ability to revive more than just her own squad, making her a valuable asset on an objective and key for your team clutching up the game. Not only can she revive people on site, but she's a big threat for anyone trying to take over. Which brings me to my next point. Fallot is the god at peeking. Whether you're trying to hard push or play marksman in the back, your survivability is insane if you know how and when to heal yourself. Think of it like this. You can hypothetically peek someone seven times, each at full health while they keep sustaining damage. You see, Phallic starts stick to just about any surface, and when they stick, they can magnetize to any ally player near the area. This means that you could shoot the ground below you or on a wall in front of you and heal yourself. Using this method is faster than the intended animation of directly injecting the syringe into yourself. If you plan on using this method, keep in mind that directly shooting at your feet while running won't always trigger the healing because you might run past it. And if any hurt allies are within range of the dart, it might heal them instead. So just be aware of where you are shooting. I don't know. What, what, no. What do you no think way. about him? Yeah. yeah. Got us. Got his ass and the fucking spawn. Let's go. Does there? Few BFFs for Phallic to team up with are Angel, Irish, and Dozer. Angel can keep you resupplied and give you armor, taking this to objective, reviving allies at full health, and armoring them up, making the Grandma of 2042 a force to be reckoned with. Irish is great for when you want to make a choke point and hold objective. Its deployable shield and active defense system help create a tag team effort to keep enemies at bay and res fallen allies. You can use this strategy to great effect in tunnel on orbital and stairs outside the server room on kaleidoscope. Dozer allows for quick cover with his shield in combat to give you that time to revive allies. But you can also seal team 6 inside of an objective, having you healing him and yourself as y'all take damage. Breach, gonna breach. Hold on, I gotta grab this. I just killed oh. a guy! <laughs> <laughs> he was sitting on the other side of the wall. In terms of primary and secondary weapons, it's completely up to your playstyle. Balak is a sort of flex specialist that revolves around how you want to play and engage firefights. For me, I run an assault rifle or SMG. Both allow me to feel comfortable in close to mid-range combat and when grabbing or holding an objective. Any marksman or sniper you feel comfortable with is also a great option if you're wanting to play long range or be the psycho that rushes into OBJ quick scoping. To each their own. Yeah, get okay, on I got three of them. Get on that three, man. I'm with you. I'm going up. Picking what equipment to use for Phallic can be a little confusing, so here are some I recommend. If you're wanting to go true support, using smoke grenades and an ammo crate in tandem is a great choice. The smoke allows you to get some cover from enemy line of sight, and the ammo crate allows you to regenerate those smokes for when Angel isn't around. EMP grenades in C5 lets you become anti-enemy land vehicle. If you use this to help you push objectives, taking care of Boris's turrets and ranger drones will be a thing of the past. Also, never, ever, use the med pen with her. Okay, what the fuck? Okay, this, these NTWs are so fucking annoying. Cause I feel like 
They, they require no skills. Literally one hit. Fuck you. I'm on your left Enemy side. Down. I know you're fighting. Okay, okay, okay. It may seem like you're giving yourself an extra dart, but it's just a waste of space in your loadout. But again, I'm going to emphasize that this can all be adjusted to your playstyle. With that said, if you're new to the channel or want to see more videos like this, go ahead and comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. You're on point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. No, actually, no. Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't even care to. I'll take the punishment and I'll sit here comfortably. Oh fuck, I'm out of ammo. Try and get out of, try and, oh. But oh, sorry, I was changing my ammo. Fine, 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 fine. What? I'm a badass medic, bro. Drop, ready to go. Oh, fuck your hand. Yeah. Oh my god, that poor kid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to show you that. Oh my god.